Hello everyone, what's up? It's Project and I've got a bit of an issue and well I'm going to show you how I debug and I had a little toy around with this but an issue went on with recording and my microphone so it's just picking up from where I left off but nonetheless it's still a bit of an issue. If I launch Windows Explorer this kind of happens. Yeah, um, somehow <laughs> what? And somehow these get duplicated, they go over here and then they disappear. And then I found out that there's another um, sub application for Windows Explorer that uses the same names as shapes. But it's, that's all hidden. So I have no idea what the hell's going on here. Uh, and that, isn't that just great? Because I'm going to be showing you how I tackle this. So, um, first of all, identify what's different versus the usual. And I'm pretty familiar with something I've been coding for like five months, so um, I might be able to decipher where. Okay, first of all, I need to undo this. So, oh wow, that's slow. Slow PowerPoint. Okay, doesn't let me do that. Okay, right. Let's try again. I go to start, then I'll go to programs. I'm, I'll go and open the save dialog because that's where it seems to be occurring from. Because that's called files.exe. And w what happens is um, it gets a current, it, uh, it's hard to explain, but it gets a current. Um, iteration of your windows. So if you open several windows, it will find, it will identify each window with its own starting thing. So it's really hard to explain. Let me open Save As dialog and I'll show you the shape names. So at the sides here, this is files.exe. But if I was to run um, the another instance of this, then it will put a backtick and then one files.exe and if I do another one it will get the amount that I've done that and it will create um, it will increment that and I'll have backtick two files.exe so they don't get mixed up what seems to happen here is that this is somehow interfering with the other thing so you see I'm currently in C user slash yo mama don't ask um, your computer windows and my documents are all at the side and their respective icons. Now this is where it seemed to have quotes unquote travelled to but I actually think that it just flagged up this for some reason so I'm pretty sure this is a say yeah okay this is the same name except for the prefix which is files.exe so <sighs> what happens if I close this window and then I go to Windows Explorer. Does it still happen? No? Bother. Okay. I'd better make sure that's the same position, but I'm pretty sure it is. Now, the strange thing is, um, it's almost like they've travelled because this one's disappeared and so has this one. But I think the problem is. Well, first of all, are they the same name? Are they disappearing? Are they hidden? So, icon 1, that's... Oh, that's strange. That's very strange. Oh, I see what's happened. Oh, okay. So, what happens is, in my source, where I get all the windows from, this is a slide where it copies the windows across and pastes them there. Now, all windows are prefixed originally, but before they go through that process, they're called files.exe or notes.exe in the notepad case or uh, error, fatal message box, etc. Now, what happened is I called, I thought calling my open and save dialogs files.exe because it hasn't got the prefix and it's a standalone, non iterative application, then that wouldn't really mess around with what I've been doing but it seems to have because as soon as this gets paste, pasted sorry um, w this is how the code works it copies it across goes into this slide unzips it or ungroups it and iterates through all the different shapes 
and adds the prefix to them but that happens once they go on the slide if you have two shapes with the same name that causes a bit of confusion between each shape so if I was to actually open up the original dialog you can see that I uh, the save as dialog these are called uh, let me find them these are called files.exe percent icon northwest one now if I go to if I were to launch uh, my Windows Explorer over here I copy and paste it into this slide and unzip it which is what it did these are also called um, let me find it whatever the name was files.exe percent icon northwest one which means that powerpoints can't refer to it by name because there are two of them and then that messes up the whole system so never be lazy and a windows 95 powerpoint was meant to be a very lazy project but <laughs> in recent times i realized that's not good enough and this kind of caused a bit of well a bit of an issue to say the least so um i'm going to go ahead and fix that and hopefully that gave you a little bit of an insight into how i debug my powerpoint os's particularly Windows 95 PowerPoints. And yeah, that's about it. I'm going to end this video because I don't feel like editing it because I feel like getting on with this. And I'll see you all next time when they release.